Yeah, I, like I've said before, I'm not um, doing like regular updates with this video, uh, with this game. It's just like for me, just a jigsaw puzzle thing. It's just um, something to come upstairs um, when I've got like an idea poking around or trying to think something out. And it's like I just want to be so meticulous, methodical and see what that is like. Um, so yet again, um, I'm up here, it's going to take forever. Um, there's not going to be a combat, I would say, probably for about a year. Easy. Maybe a bit more. I couldn't, uh, no, I could, I could not see um, any combats occurring probably until about um, maybe mid-2025, maybe. I, there's no way in hell that I'm going to be making any combat combats this year there's no way I'm so far away from that it's not funny I'm just planning um, so I've, I popped on some white cubes and some white cubes with some army things I don't know if you can see them that uh, see them there uh, I mean the, uh, the, uh, the little numbers here so those are the 10 army HQs in that first uh, when I was looking at the map and the way I wanted to go about it I thought oh my god there's like what like almost overkill for um, uh, the amount of armies, but then when I started looking at the terrain and what I wanted to do, um, I was like, mm, actually, that's not as many armies as I thought it was. And I also want to pri prioritize uh, where I'm going to pop, um, you know, do my do my bidding. And I'm also, oh shit, that's right, I forgot. Shit, I'll, I'll still do it. I'm like I'm still stick the core HQs, whatever. But I was thinking, damn it, I wanted to incorporate my. Um, my real uh, or my altered rules downstairs where you can't move a, uh, an army. Uh, got it. Oh, no, I won't do that. I'm, like I said, I'm going to be by the official rules to see what it's like. But I'm going to use Alberto markers and Lord knows what's because that. Uh, oh, thank God I did this video. I probably would have went off into Wonderland. No, um, I probably would have clued in a few weeks later. But um, official rules without the official counters. How's that? <laughs> that makes sense. So, um, yeah, there's one little lone French uh, unit over near Dunkirk, so obviously I'm going to put an army HQ here. Uh, this is not a big thing for the French. Um, so I was thinking, uh, I don't want to have another bloody army HQ over here. Maybe I will. But I was going to put just a core HQ. I'll see if I'm allowed to based on the rules. Am I allowed to have just a core HQ in control of a, a French army sector? Because that's, a, I think, a French army sector. Then I'm, I was just, uh, like I said, these are early days. These are not fixed in stone. That's why I put them on giant white cubes, which are um, basically blank D6s that I picked up because I wanted to uh, make my own D6s, D6s but um, make my own stickers, proper stickers like way proper stickers, trust me. Anyways, I'm putting the second army there. Uh, the third army here, yet again, you can see maybe not, a bit of terrain. Fourth army, yet again, remember, I don't know if you remember the last videos, but these two green spots, I was starting to look at the terrain to see where the absolute most vulnerable spots are for both sides. Uh, unfortunately for the French, they own, um, they occupy two positions near Soissons, well, they actually, uh, that's Soissons right there, and then the Germans also have another one. Pretty darn close to Paris, isn't it? Uh, Rob mentioned that to me on, uh, on Sunday. I was like, oh, I didn't clue in. There was that, like, it's not that many axes away. Um, then I've got the third, like, well, there's the third army and the fourth army because... I'm worried about uh, that spot. Fifth Army again, another core HQ because I don't really. It was also this Verdun um, uh, thing with the rules where they're saying uh, you're not allowed to put a ton of troops in Verdun because uh, historically they did withdraw the troops. Darn it! I can't remember the uh, the person's name, but he did. Uh, it wasn't Joffre because uh, he was the one who was like, "Hey man, you can send them off, uh, anywhere which way you want." Who was it? But he was like, whoa, 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 I don't think you should put a complete halt on uh, taking all the troops out of Verdun and whatnot. And um, that certainly helped them a little bit. Oh, God, I got so much more reading to do. It's not funny. Um, then I've got the 6th Army here. Uh, I'm a bit worried that the Germans are going to start cluing in with the uh, concentration of Army HQs that I'm probably going towards Metz. But, hey, man, that's the way it goes. And then after this... Um, 
yellow line here, both sides historically. Yeah, what am I saying, man? He gives me a l enough rope to uh, play around with, uh, you know, even though there's a ridiculous amount of constraints, I still got a ton to play around. And that's the point, I think, sometimes with this game, is I have to clue in, uh, is the fact that oh, it's tantalizing to do this, that, and the other thing, but you can't because of historical um, constraints. You know, like there's, it's just not the way. You just don't do these massive breakthroughs once you've pierced a point unless you've got cavalry or, and so on and so forth. Um, anyways, and then we know that down towards uh, Malouz and is that... Uh, darn it, I can't get, keep forgetting the name of this. Um, I think Brian R. Smith remembered uh, this section of the Vosh, I think it's, or something like that. Uh, th this area, I think it is. Anyway, so it's, yeah, I just put a couple of core HQs down here. As you can see, there, I think a lot of, a lot of people did, it does look interesting. I think I'm going to have to go and take a look at, um, it's been a long time, um, is take a look at the, uh, Callendale playthrough, uh, videos and see if, um, because he was doing a lot of interesting things around here. So maybe he, he was, uh, clicking into something. That's it, really. It, like I said, it's super du duper early days, but I'm starting to, I don't know what you want to call it, um, see things, you know what I mean? Like layers or, or uh, like patterns are appearing, and that's all I want. I just want the patterns to appear, and um, yeah, I'll go from there kind of thing. Oh, well, i got to read the rules as well, that type of stuff, but... Um, all right, hope you're having fun. <laughs> I certainly am. See ya.